Developments in the coronavirus pandemic tonight. 32 states, including Texas, are now considered red zones for virus cases. That's according to new reports from the White House Coronavirus Task Force. Here in the Houston area, the virus is also spreading. We'll break down the new data in just a minute. But first tonight, Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez is live in the Med Center with a warning from medical professionals. Jonathan? Yeah, Chris, and some in the medical field have suspected we could see another rise in those numbers, and unfortunately, the latest data appears that's the case. It's a small uptick right now, but that's going to translate into a higher number. A troubling trend in the latest COVID-19 numbers across Texas. The state's Department of Health Services tweeting this message out, indicating cases are quickly on the rise, hospital capacity is a concern, and more deaths are likely. I think we need to take pause and really consider that these numbers are real. And nobody wants to have another May, another June, and another July like we did. Isabel Valdez is a physician assistant at Baylor College of Medicine and believes part of the reason for the rise in numbers, the cooler temperatures and people not going outside as much. And instead they're going to stay inside and that's just going to propagate the this this little uptick that we're seeing right now is probably going to propagate into a bigger wave very soon. A look at the graphs show the steady climb across Texas in both the number of new COVID cases and hospitalizations. Although the death rate remains down, those numbers are often delayed by days, if not weeks. We don't want to max out our hospitals. No matter how many beds we have available, let's not use them all. With the holiday season around the corner, Valdez says people should take precautions now by staying home, limiting the people you see, and creating a holiday bubble or a small group of people you can trust that are taking the necessary precautions to stop the spread of COVID. For the select few that we can actually uh, be be careful with, be loyal to, that they're loyal to us and that they're careful with us in helping us not spread this disease and mitigating the spread. And Valdez says in addition to limiting the number of people you interact with, the best courses of action as always mask up and practice social distancing. Our reporting live tonight from the Med Center, I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.